micro keyboard, uh, obviously from Enermax. And I bought this a couple of months ago, actually, and I figured I would throw up a review on this since I've had a lot of time with it now. Um, the reason I bought this uh, micro slash compact keyboard is in my work environment, you know, I have a couple of PCs that I work with. And my main system, my desktop system, my home system, uh, I also use a Wacom uh, or Wacom, depending on how you want to pronounce it, uh, Intuos 4 tablet. And when I'm working with the tablet, say I'm in Photoshop or Flash or whatever, uh, there are times where I need access to a keyboard. And having a full-size keyboard in conjunction with the tablet can be a little bit of a little bit of a pain, uh, mainly because my office desk is is pretty large. But you know, you still run into those uh, space constraints with using both at the same time. So um, I actually was using a Mac. Uh, the standard mini keyboard um, that I borrowed from my Mac system for a while. But just sometimes the key combinations, and, and I have the differences pretty much memorized between the two. Um, but it just, I don't know, at times it just got a little on my nerves. Um, so one day while I was online, I took a look around on Amazon and found this keyboard. It had pretty good reviews, so I went, went for it. And like I said, I've had it now for a couple months. And besides um, one little minor issue, it's a great keyboard. So um, let's talk about it for a second. Uh, specs wise, let's see, uh, the keyboard is just a little over 12 and a half inches long. And I believe the depth is around one and a half, one to one and a half inches um, in the depth department. It is a wired keyboard, as you can see here. Um, they just recently, sorry about that, let me get this out of the way. Um, they just recently released a uh, wireless version of this keyboard also, just so you're aware of it. I, I don't know the difference in pricing on that. Um, but as far as the keyboard itself goes, pretty standard for a compact keyboard. It, basically, think of this as uh, a notebook key, uh, keyboard. You know, if you're comfortable with those, you'll really like this. Uh, besides the standard keys that you have here, you've got some dedicated office keys, um, some media playback keys, and some uh, web keys. You know, for your home page, that type of thing. To fire up a search, either Google or whatever your default search engine is. It also comes with some LEDs that show you the uh, caps lock status, num lock status, and those type of things. Um, the keyboard itself, for me, like I said, I, I, I'm always working. Um, on desktops and notebooks. So like I said earlier, if you're comfortable with a notebook keyboard, this is exactly what you're going to get. They call it their scissors technology. Um, very quiet. Um, no, no, you know, it does have a little bit of noise, uh, but no obvious clicking noise when you're using the keyboard. Um, the only issue that I, and I mentioned this earlier, is with the forward slash key being right here. On a standard keyboard, that's up here. And the only time that's an issue for me is when I'm actually doing, you know, straight ahead touch typing on this keyboard. And, you know, if I have to insert a question mark, it's just the way we're, we have that key there. That's normally where I'm used to having the question mark key. So I always end up hitting this a lot of times, especially on IMs or an email and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, that's every once in a while. Like I said, most of the time when I'm using this, this hand is over here on my Wacom tablet, and I'm just using my left hand here to do various key combinations, like I said, in Photoshop or Flash, um, those type of things. So just something to be aware of. That That's my only real annoyance with this keyboard. It's just the placement of that one particular key there. Other than that, the other features on both sides, on the side, it comes with two USB 2 ports. Unfortunately, and I... I figured with it being wired, they would be powered, but they don't appear to be. I've tried connecting uh, some external hard drives just to test out, and those will not function. Uh, with standard thumb drives, small power devices, they work fine. Uh, but you know, if you've got a portable hard drive or something you need to plug in really quick, um, it, chances are it's not going to work, unless you've got a dedicated power supply on that hard drive itself. The only other, um, as far as you know, a wish list type of thing. Oh, and let me point out too, this thing is built like a tank. Um, the whole keyboard is brushed aluminum. And to give you an idea, I think with that brushed aluminum, the keyboard weighs, uh, I think it's like 1.76 pounds in total. So when, you, when you're using this keyboard, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, the weight itself, and for me, that's great. Uh, but just something to be aware of, it be, mainly because, like I said, it, being made out of brushed aluminum, at least the, the casing of it is. Um, back to what I was saying, the only other minor thing besides this key placement that I would change is, you know, these US, uh, USB ports being here is great. 
you know, when you need to connect things quick. The only problem is because of this lip on the side of the keyboard here, you can't see them when you're typing. And I think what would be sort of cool is either just a little dot on both sides of the keyboard to show you where those were, or even a cutout. Um, so you had easier access, because a lot of times if I'm plugging in a thumb drive, I literally have to, you know, lean over and look, you know, at the side to see where the port is. But they're there, and it's, it's nice to have. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, that's the Aurora Micro Keyboard.